Tire shows can be a lot of fun. They can be a lot of fun to put on. They can be a lot of fun to watch. But what you don't want is things going wrong. But what you do want, if things go wrong, is a seat that works very well. And one point of interest, it looks like there's a canopy painted on the bottom of the aircraft. There is. That's to confuse fighter pilots who may be looking at it at this perspective, thinking they're looking at the top when it's the bottom. But this guy gets a little slow. And it doesn't go well, but fortunately he's able to get out. You notice he just got a very few swings there. All right, so how do you get to the point of being able to eject? Well, you got to do a lot of testing. And you go out to Holloman and the sled track, and you set up your tests, and you get two very brave people. Now, these are dummies, but they do actually do a uh, live fire before the seat. They have a, they have a very... Uh, <laughs> A very brave uh, test parachutist uh, who does this sort of testing. You see this guy? That's a dummy. Okay. Most people don't have hands with uh, joints like that. But uh, they do multiple tests like this to make sure everything works, especially in a multiple ejection like this, because you want to be able to get both people out in very rapid sequence. And these, of course, are slow motion video. Edwards actually had a test track back in the 50s, and uh, it's, uh, it's been decommissioned. Uh, I've been down there on the sled track. It's kind of interesting. They did a lot of high-speed uh, ejection seat tests early on in uh, you know development. But now Holloman is the place where you go for this. So the first part you do is you do it on these sled tracks to validate that the seats work properly. Well, what do you do after that? Well, what you do after that is now you have to take and put the seat in an aircraft. And uh, still, you're using the dummies. Okay, so uh, what we do then is, is we take and we outfit, especially configured, uh, in our case, when we were testing the F-18 ejection seat, we used an F-4, and we put a dummy in the back seat, and the front seater controlled the ejection of the dummy. And we'd go down to China Lake. I was based at Edwards, and I had a friend of mine in the Navy who was the one who was flying the uh, F-4 for the uh, uh, ejection seat test. And I'd get a photographer, and we'd head on down to China Lake. And uh, we'd go up, and uh, we'd fly together. Now, I'd get a 38, and the 38 is just great for this because you got a good canopy, a good view, and it's cheap and easy to operate. Uh, so we use this, of course, for a lot of photo and safety chase. So I would get the photographer, we'd go down to uh, China Lake, we'd brief the mission, uh, him and his F4, and then we would uh, go up and fly. And China Lake, as you all know, is located southwest of Edwards. It's a very nice uh, facility, rather spartan, near the, uh, near the Salton Sea, actually. And there is the airfield. Um, like I said, it's rather sparse. But what we'd do is we'd stage out there and we'd take off and we'd go into the test range, which was located right next uh, to the airfield. And we'd make a few jokes about, you know, does the guy in the back seat know what's going on? And he's really not paying attention like that. And then we'd have the countdown fired off. The photographer would take a lot of video. And interestingly enough, all the video that I flew Chase for, of course, they don't give you a copy of it. And I don't have any of that. I would love to share that if I had it. But, you know, we go through the qualification. We get the seat qualified and we go from there. Now, uh, one of the missions was rather interesting. You know, it was hard to get everything to come together. And we would go up at times and there would be uh, a problem getting the seat to fire uh, or some other uh, some other issue. So uh, we'd go up and actually not fire the seat uh, and we'd have to come back. And one test mission, we went up and fired the seat and everything's fine. And all of a sudden, uh, lead says, I've got zero oil pressure. I believe it was his right engine. And at the same time this occurred, it was funny as could be, if you want to call that funny, I had a compressor stall on my right engine and it flamed out, which was a little unusual. We weren't, you know, we're going 300 knots or so. I forget the exact airspeed on the test point, but uh, mine flamed out. So it was, well, who has the worst emergency? And I said, well, I'm going to have to go through the checklist to restart the engine. Uh, you know 
you've got a an issue that you know there's not much of a checklist you just go in and land so he um he peeled off and he went into land and uh, then i went into land so uh we took off and both of us had emergencies coming uh back in i did get the engine restarted but when it uh, when you lose an engine steady state condition like that uh there's something wrong with it i forget exactly what they discovered but anyway uh we did these tests they qualified the seat and now they've got him in the F-18. And, of course, um, that was back... We were doing the testing in the late 70s. This is a picture of me at 99, uh, 1999. Uh, yeah, we were partying like it was 1999. And uh, uh, got invited uh, with some of my NASA friends to come out and do a test mission on the F-18, which was just kind of a, uh, a chance to fly the F-18. I'd flown the 104 with the NASA guys out at Edwards when I was a pilot out there, but they... Uh, offered me a nice chance to come out and fly the F-18. And, of course, there had to be a reason to fly. You always have to have a reason to fly. So they, they put together a test mission, and I came out and flew it. And it was a great time uh, to come back. Edwards is just, just a wonderful place. Of course, um, uh, I don't think I could get back on base now. Uh, all, the, all the people I know have retired, so uh, that's the way it goes. But uh, that's a great place. They're doing a lot of good work. And that's the tale of who has the worst emergency and who should go in first and land. Uh, funny how these things can develop. Anyway, if you liked it, hit that subscribe button, wherever that thing may be. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.